I love this jumper. <laughs> it always makes me feel good. It, it's kind of summer, but it's kind of cold. So we have the Bunny Bob jumper. Hang on. See? Woohoo! take much people it doesn't take much thursday 13th of june it doesn't really feel like june today it feels chilly really chilly okay i'm using the rider weight deck as a kind of a palette cleanse because we've branched out a little bit and we've used some different decks this week and yesterday we used the what was it called animal tarot cards doreen virtue which I thought were quite interesting, actually. I quite like them. I think they're definite now and again, aren't they? Oh, you're sticking out. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, okay. Emotional. Yep. I have the bottom. That's funny. That came up in the shuffle as well. And the top, which I'm not... Oh, okay. Yep. No. Some of you have commented asking me how I shuffle, and the answer to that is haphazardly, really, kind of randomly. Oop. No rhyme or reason, and it changes. Sometimes I do do a big girl shuffle, which um, is where I get a pack. And I kind of go like that. It goes all over the table and I just smoosh it around. Like when you were playing, um, is it Patience or whatever when you were a kid? You know, and you're trying to shuffle and you just, it's like that. Ooh. Okay, hanged man in reverse, or as I call him, the stand man, because now he's standing, he's not upside down. I know, it's quite a weird energy, and whenever I pull this, I have to kind of make sure I've got it right. Is he upside down? Is he right way up? I think that is the energy, the kind of, is he upside down? Is it the right way up? For some reason, I want to look at the one underneath. Knight of Swords in reverse, a certain sense, remember we had this the other day, it's a certain sense of, Knight of Swords is someone who's delivering a message, the message is swordy, it's calculated, not necessarily calculated in a bad way, but it's certainly premeditated and it's organised and it's intellectual and it's rational. Something here is or someone, maybe, I'm not sure. And it could be a relationship or it could be a situation. Something is coming out of the rational space into the feeling arena. Could be both of you because it's emotion, as my niece says. An emotion roller coaster is what she says. Four of Cups in reverse. That's my emotion card. Now, I always say it can be a coffee percolator if you're a bit more on the restrained side, you know, there's a drip, drip, drip. Or it can be the emotional dam of the wump and the shh and the... Uh, a feeling of uncontrollable emotion in a good way, okay? But it is a bit uncontrollable. In other words, you maybe you were controlling your feelings about this subject or this person, but now you're not, okay? <laughs> Ten of Swords in reverse, purging, swords drop out, people heal, it's the end of a difficult cycle. Those ten swords took a while to put in. You know, that is an entire relationship, or it is ten years, or it is a family. It's, you know, ten of swords, even though it's minor arcana, so it it's still in the everyday. For me, it feels like... I get that really cheesy line, this is bigger than the both of us. But it feels like it is. King of Pentacles. Now, normally, of course, you read this, King of Pentacles, I think Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, 
but for this I'm not. I'm thinking someone who was set in their ways, stuck on their throne, you know, someone who was being practical. Could be you, could be them, could be, um, it could be something to do with getting finance from somebody as well. Somebody was all about the everyday, all about the practical, all about keeping it business. That's gone into reverse and who creeps in but the King of Cups, the King moves into his feelings, okay? The feeling King, the emotional King. It's a feeling of going from what is practical, what is observed, what is known, what is organised into what is perhaps more disorganised, less controllable, more emotional. Emotion roller coast, okay? And the hanged man, of course, momentum, but at the same time, am I standing up? Am I upside down? You know, if we took it Stranger Things, am I in the upside down? New series coming out soon. Judgment. Now, judgment, of course, can be a card of second chances, but it's bigger than that. This is bigger than the both of us, we keep saying it. It's a card of, yeah, literally, this judgment is bigger than just my minor judgment, your minor judgment, your point of view, my point of view. There is something more major arcana going on. There is a call to judgment, okay? Now, a call to judgment is more about revelations than it is about thinking. So moving away from the King of Pentacles, who to a certain extent, he's a bean counter, he's an accountant, he's somebody who measures worldly things, he's someone who dispenses the money, okay? No, trumpet blast, we're out of that. Past, present and future here. Dialectic, okay? Remember, we've talked about the dialectic. There is a feeling of, that's my dialectic, do you like that? The dialectic. Okay, there is a feeling of impetus. Like the other day when we had the Tower, the Star and the Ace of Cups, okay? There is a feeling of impetus. Whoever was remote, and it could be you, them, you, them, or just you, or just them, or whatever is the sitch, is coming into feeling, okay? And that's uncontrollable, chaotic and emotional, but at the same time, can't make an omelette without breaking the eggs now, can you? Six of Pentacles, this was in reverse on Monday, an act of generosity coming in, okay? If this is about money, jobs, creativity, it's about letting go of needing to measure and count and welcoming in chaos in a way. Chaos and emotion and passion. If it's about love, it's about somebody coming into their feelings and actually coming forward with something probably unthought out, chaotic and messy, but at the same time, very authentic. Nine of Wands in reverse, the need to drop your guard, the need to be vulnerable in order to hear the message and probably in order to respond. Okay, drop your guard, drop the drawbridge. That sounded a little bit. Drop the drawbridge? Okay. Yeah, I think I want, yeah, do I want Chuck Spetsano? I think I do. Chuck Spezzano. Oh, Chuck. Shucks, Chuck. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go for a third one, actually. Why not? So some of you, this is something where you've been feeling unhappy, unlucky. You've been lonely, in separation, maybe. We've got feeling unwanted and drought. Now, feeling unwanted... <laughs> is literally that, feeling unwanted, but also being shut down. Then we get drought, which is fear that there's nothing coming your way, whether it's money or whether it's love. It's a fear, I love this woman, like picking over the ferns and the bones, I'm withering on the vine, okay? It's that feeling. And then we get the grace card of happiness. Fairly unexpected, actually. Let's have an oracle card. 
you, my pretty. Oh, not again. I think we had this yesterday or the day before. Unfinished symphony. Unfinished symphonies are messy. But sometimes it's the unfinished symphonies that are the best. Healing with the angels card. Emerging. Delightful. I like this a lot. Please leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel, hit the wiggly bell and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.